appears to be the one standing over it here. Spent last season with Detroit City. Two goals, two assists for the champions last season. Time with the New York Cosmos before that. The Honduras U23 national team. Does he go for goal here? Espinal can be dangerous. 18, Cerro. Cerro did not get hold of that right at all, did he? <laughs> Didn't get what he wanted on it. Not really. Dixon goes right back to McGrath, though, and Good it's ball. onside. McGrath can square up a ball at the penalty spot into the 18. Cerro gives himself another opportunity, forces the save. That's a good shot. Taylor Gray able to recollect for Chattanooga, and it's another corner kick for CFC. Good pressure from Chattanooga. This is what we expect to see in this game. Felix Anand truly tested for the first time this afternoon. McGrath, one of the four former Stumptown players in the starting lineup this afternoon, that came along with head coach Rod Underwood, and the former manager at Stumptown, led them to an eighth place finish last season, but really it was more about what he was able to accomplish with what he had, more so than the end result. Stumptown also finishing third in Nisa and goals conceded a year ago. Something that very much attracted. Stop at Chattanooga FC. Can he be the one to punch Chattanooga in front? Crowds on their feet. Strikes and save. save. The follow is there and Cerro scores. Your first goal of the 2022 season for Chattanooga FC. Ian Cerro from the Belmont spot. And it takes just minutes in the second half for CFC to find an opportunity. See, so has that loose passing we're seeing where the Bobcats are putting it a bit too strong and the wind's taking them away. We saw Chattanooga doing that a lot last year and they aren't doing as much of that. If you want to really get a feel for how they're doing with their possession-based play, count the number of passes they complete. And it's going to be in double figures, apart from that one. Um, one back by Maryland, and that's just chested out for a corner. We're looking to finish the job here with a one-goal advantage and 20 minutes plus stoppage time to play. Ball skips past the sliding effort of Dixon, and it puts on Darwin Espinal. Three on three here for Maryland Bobcats. Espinal on his left foot squares it right in to Kevin Gonzalez. Good goalkeeper from Kevin Gonzalez there. Doesn't panic. Keeps it under control. Dixon. Hmm. For some physical play around midfield. The third CFC player to see yellow. Gray, Jones, and now Dixon. Stratton running right into Gonzalez for another throw in. Davy Mason. The former U23 Honduran International will wait his turn. Kyle Johnston with a quick chat to the Chattanooga Wall. Espinal lets it rip. It's oh. a good effort, and it's in the back of the net. Need to spread the, the ball around a bit more and come forward. They need to make that uh, big push towards the, the Bobcats goal. His, here he comes. Here they come with a well-placed ball to McGrath. McGrath still on his feet, a chance to square something up. Opportunity is skied. Oh, wow. <laughs> Travis Ward couldn't get around Travis. it. Wow, yeah. Travis Ward did not get hold of that well at all. Tried to hit it first time instead of controlling it and 